So the top ones are frog jump capitals, um, handwriting without tears. When they're teaching handwriting, they always start with those. Um, the next letters that they go to are corner starters because they start in that same corner. We talked about having like these imaginary boxes that these letters would fit in for that letter size one letters. Handwriting without tears worksheets that go over uppercase letters they actually have boxes for the uppercase letters. That's how they teach it. Um, so yeah, imagine there's like a little smiley face in that upper left hand corner. You can even draw it for your students if that's what they need to remind them. Um, like I went over the frog drum capitals, the next one are corner starters, but they don't go back up to the corner. Frog drum, they start at the corner, they go back up to the corner. The corner starter letters start at the corner, but they might not go back up to the corner. So your corner starter letters are like the letter H, starts in the corner, big line down, big line down, little line across. You have your letter K, big line down, diagonal slide, diagonal slide. You have your letter L, big line down, you're starting in that corner, little line across. You have your U, it's a big line down, turn and go up. You have your letter V, which is a big slide, it's a big line slide, big line slide up for a V. Your W is a big line slide, slides back up, big line slide, slides back up for your W. And then your X is two slides, big line slide, starts in the corner, big line slides. Every single time you start in the corner. And your Y, I talked about this with little kid, uh, lowercase letters as well. You have the little kid slide starts in the corner and the big kid slide and then your Z starts in the corner but you do a little line across, slide down and a little line across. So those are your corner starters. Every single letter, if it fit into an imaginary box, would start in that upper left hand corner.